Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Skyblock Survival. Today, I am solo. Ladies and gentlemen, today is going to be a solo episode, and uh, we'll get right into that in a sec. I got a bit, of, a bit of a story to tell you guys before we get into it, and a lot of stuff to go over today. Today is going to be one of those uh, episodes where we just do a lot of like house cleaning stuff that we need to do. I need to do some enchants. I need to get more, uh, some more levels, get myself a better pickaxe, because I only have efficiency four. I don't have any fortune or anything like that, and I want to get it. We'll sell some stuff, we'll talk about what that thing is, and we'll do some changes to the farm. But ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so we're going to get into the first thing we need to talk about. Why there was no episodes last two days. There's been no videos on my channel for two days. And usually Saturday or Sunday would be a video that, or would be a day that Skyblog or Cubita came out. And the only reason that those didn't happen is because I have, for those of you who don't know my... My mom and my dad are a separate family, so I always have separate dinners with both of them. So Saturday night, I had my mom's Easter dinner, and Sunday night, I had my dad's Easter dinner. But I also work 9 to 5 at my new job that in both of those days, Saturday 9 to 5 and Sunday 9 to 5. And when I got home, obviously, I had dinner right after that. And it just left me with no time to make videos. And I apologize, but I don't work on the weekdays. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to get some episodes prepared. So when I do work on the weekends, you guys don't have a lack of videos. But ladies and gentlemen, I apologize once again for missing those two days. Yeah, the job's pretty good though. I can't complain. It's a, uh, it's like an indoor rock climbing slash summers. I don't know. We rent out kayaks. We do like mountain biking tours and stuff. It's pretty cool. I'm, I think I like the job. While I was working, Wild wanted to do an episode, and uh, obviously I couldn't because he ended up doing a solo episode. This is what he built. He basically went to another guy's farm and copied what they have. I got to do a little bit. He wants me to set this up to a clock so it's automatic. But basically what this is is a lineup of uh, cobblestone generators. Every row here, so obviously like... Uh, underneath this block, this block, this block, all of these are individual cobblestone generators. When you press this button, they generate cobblestone, and it gets pushed up one block, and obviously you can stack it up. Like, I'll push, here, I'll push that. You can see that it goes up. Let it reset. That gets pushed up again. Oh, and now it's it's full, so it should go up to the third layer. Oh, if I, if I click it, there we go. You can keep going. It's perfect. So now, once you got a fast pickaxe, activate the auto breaker, and you can just tear this thing apart. Look at all that. You get so much stuff from it. Except I always... Oh, yeah, I definitely... Oh, I don't think I was supposed to go that far. I get a... Oh, God. Okay, <laughs> this is what Wild told me not to do. I always break it. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know. <laughs> now I gotta fix this thing. All right, guys. I think I know how to fix it. I might just have to cap the top. Um, like, let's try that. And that. With that. Are you serious? I got rid of one of those two. All right, furnace. Uh, fly. Oh, no. Fly. And we will place you right there. Perfect. All right, I think I fixed it, or close enough that it doesn't really matter. But that's it. This thing's awesome, though. You can see that, obviously, this is way faster than our... That's basically just, like, stacked version of this. Uh, obviously, this is pretty slow. But the new one is awesome. We got so much stuff from it. I think Wild ended up spending, like, an hour or so just mining it. And it's so... Let's see what we have. We have uh, all of this. I'll throw this stuff back. Yeah, look at that. Look at how many diamonds, how many... Iron, how many lapis we have. We have so much. We even got all these. Oh, wow. We got a lot of eggs, too. Nice. So what Wild told me what he wanted to do today was he wants to... If we go up here, he wants to convert our spawner back into, like, a flat... Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do that. I'm going to basically mine it all out again. And I'm basically going to convert it to where it was before. Uh, I need a Silk Touch pickaxe before we do this. Or I need to enchant for one. Um, or tool, tools, soak touch. Yes. Okay, good. We do have soak touch. All right. I'm going to start by mining that or no. Oh, I got to mine this first. I don't want, I just don't want the spawners to go down. Oh, okay. Never mind. We're just going to mine them. There's one. There's two. Let me pick up three, four, three. Oh God, it's going down. Oh, well, who cares? 
Oh my god, this is getting way too heavy. Mine all of these, as many as I can. Before I die, please. Okay, everybody go down. Okay, dude, I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. I'm heading out. Let me out, let me out. Okay. <laughs> everybody go back down. I'm gonna kill you. Like I should. Yeah, and the spawners are down there. Nice. Alright, I think we got all of them. Uh, I'll wait for those guys to float on down. I'll put these in the chest. Or actually, I'm gonna put them in my ender chest. Alright, we got some blocks. We will block up the water. I'm also very excited for basically after I finish uh, recording this episode, because I'm going to record this episode, and then I'm going down to the, I guess, the local shipping place in our town, and I have, like, computer parts uh, that I bought online, and they finally came in. They came in on Thursday while I was at work, so I missed the package being delivered. They said I could go pick it up at the office on Friday, but the office was closed due to Easter Friday, or Good Good Friday, I guess it's called. And obviously it was closed Saturday, closed Sunday, and I'm going to get there today before 3 o'clock, and it's 2. <laughs> so I need to get this done and get over there before they close, because if I, I think if I wait one more day, they're going to end up sending all the packages back, and I, I really don't want that. I just want to go pick them up, install them in my computer, and then I'll finally be able to start running games at a decent quality again. I know I just bought the game, uh, The Culling, I think it's called. And I have to run it on like low settings because my computer is just getting tired. It's just, it's three years old. It's still running on basic components. So that's why I bought a, like a new case, power supply, new RAM, everything except for the graphics card and the processor. And then I'm going to end up upgrading the graphics card to a, basically the equivalent of a 980 Ti, but on the AMD side. It's an R9 280 or 290X, I think. I don't, I don't know the AMD side of cards, so if I, if I have that card wrong, uh, let me know. But I think we're going to go with that. I got a custom water cooling loop, stuff like that. Video coming out tomorrow, possibly, on it. My friend wants to do sort of like a build thing. So if you guys do want to see that, definitely tell me in the comment section down below. If you guys want to see like a... I don't, I don't know. It's going to start with my computer as it is, and it's just going to be like a video of us building the computer. Pretty highly edited, some fancy music in the background, and hopefully it should look pretty. Oh wait, I wonder if we can use the super breaker again. Oh, I can. What? You ready or pick X? Isn't it so Wait, what? Oh, is it lagging? Maybe you can't use super breaker with, uh, or super pick X with cobble. Maybe it's only with ores. I don't know, because I'm right clicking, and uh, I don't, I don't see anything happening, you know? Oh man, this is gonna take a while. With only two, <laughs> it was two of us that built it and it took like 20 minutes. But with one person deconstructing it, it might take a little bit longer. So we might just do like a story time with Mitch for this episode. Like I said, this is not gonna be the most action packed episode um, this season has seen, or not this season, but this series has seen. But this episode is just gonna do a lot of stuff that I need to do. Uh, I need some more ores. I need to do some enchanting. We needed to convert this back. Because there was no point in having all of those spawners. The spawning rates with the spawners is actually, well, we, speculating. But we think it's slower uh, than just having the dark room. So that's why I'm going to try to make uh, like our original dark room spawner. But I'm going to add like two or three layers if we have time today. And I think our chests are really starting to get full too. I think wild afk for a bit on both of those. So we can, like, we can harvest those. We can sell all that. Obviously, there's a lot of iron, a lot of cactus and we just spend the rest of today mining probably. I don't think we're gonna, gonna get into any of the challenges just because I want to stay with Wild on the challenges. I don't want to get too far ahead and then have to have him catch up. Uh, so that's why I'll probably end up saving that for next episode. And if we are gonna go PvP somewhere, I'll probably end up saving that till next episode too just because a one-man army, especially me, I don't have very good gear and <laughs> I don't want to die. I don't know, the day packages arrive for me is like Christmas morning. I wake up, and you hear the knock on the door, you, or you, you know that it, your package is coming in today. You go in, you sign the thing, and they give you the package, and then the excitement starts. The drive home, you're curious, what's in the box? Well, I guess it's, <laughs> it's not really a surprise for me, but I don't know, I'm still excited. Gonna go down there, and I can't really unpack it either, because I want to do the build with my friend. So, I don't know if we're doing that, like, tonight. Like, tonight at, like, 11.30 or 12 when he gets off work. Because I kind of... It can't be a two-day thing. It, it has to be, like, kind of 
unplug my computer, build it, and then plug it back in. Because obviously I needed to record vids tomorrow. So if we are going to do it tonight, it'll have to be late night after I do all my videos. Uh, hopefully get it done and get my computer working again so I can uh, hop on it tomorrow morning. But you guys will see. There's a video out tomorrow. There's uh, The computer went fine. The <laughs> Yeah, I guess if that vid is out tomorrow, the build went fine. If not, you know I'm stressing out and something didn't work. Oh, we are so close to... I don't... I think we might do it the same way that I had it before, where it's just going to come... Ah, uh, wait, how did we have it? I think we had it where the corners were spawn pads, and... Or no. I don't know. There's a few ways you can do it. You can have it so the water streams are in the corners, and basically the water stream is like... There, there... Like, that's where the water stream goes, and your platform is like a giant triangle, because if you can think about it, the other water stream would go here, and this... That, right there, right there, that's your platform. And you can do it so you can have four of those. Uh, you can do three by three spawning areas as long as you have the, as long as your outside box is the is the right uh, width and length. But uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I think, I, I'm probably just going to do something simple for now. And if you guys think that it would be better another way, leave in the comment section down below. And uh, I'll talk to Wild about it too, but I don't think it's going to matter too much. We just got to make sure this box is nice and big so we can fit as many spawning platforms as we can. And then we just got to see how high we want to go. We can do three layers. We can do five layers. We can do 30 layers. I just don't know. There's got to be a point where it stops becoming more efficient. And I just want to know if two layers is going to make it twice as efficient or if it's going to make it slightly better. Because if it only makes it slightly better, then I don't know of doing... Um... Okay, we might actually leave those water sources, to be honest. Those might even still work for our build. Actually, no, we're not going to do that. Don't mind that. That doesn't need to be there. This will go like that. Alright, here's our platform. <sighs> How do we want to do this? Do we want to do corner plot? What's a... I mean, there's a 4x4. Four four. Yeah, so that wouldn't work. You'd have to do 4x4. Four four. Ah! I mean, I guess I could do that. Alright, here's what I might do. I yeah, I might do 5x5 five five blocks in the corner. So obviously, this is 5x5. Five five. This is 3x5 here. So I might do like 5x5, 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 5x5 with the 3x5s five in the middle. Um, I don't know what to do with this space. I may leave this open. We'll see, though. Alright, that looks to be it, so I'll drop you there. I know some of them are not going to be lined up. That's going to go there. That's definitely not going to make it. Mine you, you, and you. And there we go. Mine you. And I might as well just pick this guy up right away. And that definitely wasn't right. One, two, three. Mine there. That's going to go there. Hey! Not too bad. Not too bad. So if I were if I were to be a mob, I'd be like, oh look at I'm a skeleton. I'm gonna walk this way. Oh no, I fell. And ooh, that's not supposed to be there. But he's gonna flow in. And he's going down. What if he decided to be a difficult skeleton? And he came down, he's like, Oh, I gotta walk this way. Is there a way that he can get trapped? So there is a way that they can get trapped, but I think if they get nudged by another skeleton. GG. GG? What's everyone say? Um, Jeez, that guy just saved 35% on a purchase. Uh, he's purchasing iron. Oh, someone just bought a bunch of stuff. That's what it is. That's what it is. Um, Yeah, so this is not bad. There's some dead water spots here, but I believe that if if I were to go here, if every time I get bunched or pushed to the side, it's going to try to push me in, like, there. So I think that's it. I might put a cap on Yeah, I'll definitely cap the roof. Right now, we'll do, make it too high. Uh, too high. And if we want to do another layer at next episode, uh, we will, will. It'll be very easy. Man, every time I'm doing this, this is a lot of cobblestone. I've almost used it all in my inventory. I started with zero. I think I got up to like eight or nine stacks. And now I'm basically all down to zero again. Let's see. We're close. We're done. I do want to get some XP going on here. I want to see how fast these rates are. I'm extremely excited for this. 
So I just realized that they have a slash AH on this server. If you go slash AH, uh, I didn't just realize it, but this is the first time I'm actually doing it. The Smite 5 sword for 20k, that's not bad. Uh, efficiency 4, Silk Touch on breaking 1 for 150k. Nether Stars for 50k. Um, or the Enderman Spawners for 500k. What do we need? There's Diamond Horse Armor. There is... It says Power 5. It's Respiration 3. Nice try there, Hacho. That's an expense. Flame 1 for like a million dollars. I am definitely not paying that. Uh, what are they selling beacons for? There's a beacon for 60 grand? Yes. If there's two of them, we're getting two of them too. Uh, confirm. There's one beacon. Bought. What's the cheapest one? 50 grand right there. 60, 50. You got yourself, what is it, Jack for? Jack for Dot, you got yourself a deal, my friend. Uh, all right, let's go get ourselves some blocks. We're going to build up a bit of a beacon here, fam. Oh, hold on. Before we do this, let's check how much cactus is first. We'll check the iron. Oh, my lord. Yes. Okay, I'm happy. I'm a happy camper. That's a lot of freaking cactus that may have just paid for anything. And the iron is actually decently empty. That's all right. We only got one spawner. It's not that bad. The cactus is unbelievable, though. That's awesome. I'm so glad we have so much. Put all that stuff away. Put this stuff in there. I don't know. Our chests are so messy. Uh, tools, blocks, cobblestone goes in there, and that's going to be full. Uh, ores, I guess, go in there. All right. What do we need to... We'll grab, like, four stacks of iron. We'll convert all of these to blocks. I wonder how many stacks of iron do you need? Uh, 14, 21, 28. We are mass-producing blocks right now. Uh, and there's 30... All right, we got 44 blocks. Hopefully, that should be enough. Now, where do we want to do this? I want the two beacons to be... Is this the middle of the island? Yeah, that's definitely the middle. We're going to have one there. And we'll have one there for now. Okay, I'll be honest. I don't know the size of the beacons either. Like, I don't know how big they have to be. Oh! No! I mined right into here. All right. Um. Okay, yeah. We will... I guess? Okay, what if I just go like that? Oh my god, that was loud. Uh, what if we go like that? Or more like this? Okay, is that enough? Is that going to power those little guys? Maybe not. Maybe not. We will see. Can we please have a block? Any sort of ore? Oh, serious? can you not use lapis? Oh, you can't. Come on, dude. Give me something good. Something other than lapis. Give me a diamond. There we go. Now we got ourselves a diamond. Uh, we got two of them in a, two of them in a row. All right. We put that in there. We choose. What do we want? We want speed. Maybe these aren't big enough. To be honest, maybe they're. I think they're definitely not big enough. I just don't know how big I want to make them. Like I think I need to make it one bigger on every side so that means out there all the way out to here so basically like that but hey who knows we might as well do this because if this does work that's awesome and if it doesn't or if it does work and we leave it here, I don't really care because we never come down here. We have the bigger one now. Uh, so I'm pretty sure no one's really ever going to use this guy. Got the cow down here. What am I not doing right? I'm doing something so stupid. I, I know. Maybe I have to place these guys on top first. Why is this taking so long, so long to mine? I need to break this pickaxe too. Uh, all right, there's one. To, oh, jeez, entities were going to be removed in four seconds anyway. Uh, all right, entities cleared. Place that. 
No, nothing? Seriously? Alright, fam. I'm leaving that there. I legitimately have not a single clue why that's not working. Um, I'm looking at the time. I have 20 minutes to get down to that shop, grab my stuff, and head out before it closes. Otherwise, I'm stuck for another day with no computer parts. So I'm going to quickly sell this. I'm going to use a crate key, and I will end off the... I, did I just see a diamond there? I'm pretty sure I saw a diamond just chilling on the ground. Um, all right, slash shop. That's definitely not how you spell shop. Uh, what do we got? Farming. We will sell. Nice. We just got $18,000 from that. Perfect. That's awesome. Uh, we will collect you. And slash shop. Middle click. Farming. Middle click. There we go. Gra I'm going to be the richest guy ever. Oh, I wonder if we... Oh, no. We definitely can't. If we went to sold all that stuff, we probably could have got over a million, but I don't think we can now. Uh, farming. Sell all those. Come on. There we go. Shop, farming, middle click. It's just, it's, it's just repetitive. We got this though. Super close. I don't know if the hoppers are full or not. They shouldn't be because the top chests weren't full. Uh, apparently there is slash go to warp king junkie. All right, sell the last of it. We now have, we go BAL. We now have $930,000. Uh, I think we just made like 40 or 50. I can't remember. I will AFK while I edit this vid to try to fill these up. What does this say? It says, go to uh, slash IS warp king junkie. Uh, okay, so we'll go slash IS space warp space king junkie. He says, welcome. Oh my lord. Okay. Uh, it's pretty cool. The floor is, looks nice. I don't know what these are on here for. You got in here. Oh, nothing. So they got a... King Junkie has a pretty good wheat farm. Or not wheat farm. Uh, pretty good cactus farm. That's not too bad. It's got, got a nice little stable up here with uh, horses and spawners and such. They have a lot of... Oh, wait. Never mind. There's a lower area. Uh, yeah, they definitely have a lot of lapis. They got a decent amount of gold. Uh, they got a decent amount of diamonds too. Nice, nice. That lapis cap. Oh my god, wait. How tall is this gonna go? We're gonna go right to the top. I wanna see what they have up here. This is their original island, I'm pretty sure. And they have prismarine blocks all around it with... Is that the original tree? That might actually be the original tree, to be honest. We got a nice little nether portal over there. And this is just a skyscraper of lapis blocks. That's amazing. Uh, we're going to see. I'll use my cords because it's not my island. See if it's going to hit the top of the world. 250. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is the top of the world. I don't think you can get any higher than this. So they're almost at the top. Like 30 or 40 more blocks. I wish I could be the one to, uh, to place it. I would donate them this amount of blocks just to be able to finish this. Because this is... This is epic. Look at how big this is. We're going to fall down. See, I didn't check if there's anything under the island either. Uh, we'll go check. Although I don't think so. Bombs away. Nothing. Uh, I could have died away. What is that? Uh, oh, these are just chests. Nice. Well, King Junkie, you, my friend, have an awesome island. You clearly have done a lot of work on it. Give a little quick peek in there. Nothing. Damn it. It's an awesome island. I oh, I didn't even see these. He's got... A bunch of cows and an automatic spawner. He has uh, two IGs. What is that? Is that six blaze spawners? Some other stuff in there. Oh, this is like ores. Enchanting. He's got the complete bag. Everything on the island. Dude, this is an awesome island. Thanks for showing me. Slash island. Actually, I'm not even going to go with slash island. I'm going to throw this. There. See, you see you later, dude. Uh, now we're going to go slash spawn. We're going to grab ourselves a crate key, and I'm going to end off this episode so I can go pick up my computer parts before it closes. Wait, what's here? Easter event. Uh, he's got a, uh, <laughs> what's up, dude? Lemojang. Uh, awesome. Do not have an Easter key. There's Easter keys. That's awesome. I completely missed that. But, uh, I'm glad it was something that they did on the server. We need to fix this. 50 durability left. What are we going to get? Oh, we got $300,000. That's going to put us clearly over a million to around 1.23k. Wait, 1.23k? Slash bell. 1.23. Oh, not k, but 1.23 mil. 
That's what I meant to say. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for watching this episode of Skyblock Adventure. Next episode, we will be teamed with Wild X again, resuming uh, normal episodes. But thank you guys for watching. I always did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.